In this short video, we will be walking through the steps to create and manage your learning resources folder, which is located in your course menu. This is an example of what your learning resources folder might look like once set up. Lecture recordings will appear at the top, followed by any course textbook links. Finally, a weekly folder structure, where each week's content is broken up into separate folders. You can also do this for different modules. Each folder has a clear weekly heading, as well as a title to describe what that week will be about. Below is a short description explaining in more depth what that week will cover. Within a weekly folder, content is broken up as you can see, with external links, course links to assessment items, and general information. We're going to be going through the steps to set up your learning resources folder in your course. Begin by clicking on learning resources from the course menu. The link to your lecture recording should already appear at the top of your page. Let's go through the process of creating a content folder. First, go to build content and under the new page heading, select content folder. We're going to be creating a week three folder based on Saturn. In the name text box, clearly denote the week and the topic for that week. In the text box, explain what that week will be about. If you scroll down the page, you'll notice there are some standard options. Permit users to view this content, ensure this is selected as yes. This just means that once you create the folder, students will be able to view it. Then click on the submit button. You will see that your week three folder automatically appears at the bottom of your page. To rearrange content, hover on the left hand side. Click and drag up or down depending on where you want to place that item. To edit a folder or item, click on the grey arrow, then go to Edit. To hide a folder or item, scroll down to Standard Options and select Permit users to view this content as No, then click Submit. You will then notice that the folder icon is greyed out with a message that says Item is not available. This means that you can still work on the folder, the students will not be able to view it. To create an item or basic page, Go to Build Content and then go Item. Enter a name for your page. Use the text editor to create the content for your page. You can insert an attachment, image, video, or a mathematical equation with the math editor. You can also include Kaltura Media videos, YouTube videos, Flickr photos, or a slide share presentation. You'll also be able to find basic text formatting inside your text editor. You can also attach any files from within your course or from your computer. Similar to a folder, you can choose whether you want users to be able to view this content or hide it. Once you are happy, click on the submit button. You can see our page has appeared at the very bottom. To move a page, click on the arrow and select move. In this case, I want to move my satin page inside the satin folder. To do this, I'm going to click on the browse button and within learning resources select week 3 satin which is the folder I want to copy it into then click on the submit button if I enter the satin folder now I'll be able to see my page has been moved that is how you set up and manage a basic learning resources folder